Prayer with Apostle J.B. Makananiza. Touch your screen now. Today, when you live here, you have got many things to talk than other people. Listen, if you want to talk, waste your words in prayer. Remember the Bible says, we must speak everything, with everything, supplication, by prayer unto God. Waste your ways. Where? I'm not saying stories won't come to you, because when I look at you from here, stories are, will come to you. It will be a temptation. But when you hear judgment, you say, hey, I'm not part of this. One of the things that I told my wife, I said, you know what? I don't want to talk about anyone. I don't want to. If there's something wrong, I will follow that person and say it. But listen, remember, there are some people that you will never change whether you like it or not. Even when you talk and you say, please repent, they will never repent. There are some people that we can just pass judgment to them, but they will never change. The moment you tell them, you are wrong here. I don't know if you're hearing me. It's like you put petrol. There are some people that if you say to them, you are wrong here, it will be like you put what? Petrol. They will show you they are not wrong there. They will, the they, will the they will defend themselves to the core. So what you have to do, so, you must guard your heart. I don't know if you're hearing me. Amen. You are here as a child of God. You guard your heart. Um, you lift your hands to God. God. You praise Him. You him. Him. If you hear any story, because there are many stories here, you close your ears. But you don't want to judge anyone. When I came here, I came alone. Lift up your hands. Allow God to give you a hearing heart. Prayer. Allow God to give you a hearing heart. A heart that distinguishes. A heart that discerns. A heart of fearing Him. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I want a heart. Oh, Rabba Baba Babata. I need the heart so that when wrong thing strikes my ear, I'll be able to respond in the right way. Oh, Jesus. I want a heart. I want a heart of hearing you. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. I can't hear you. I can't hear your prayer. I can't hear it. Pray louder. In Jesus' name. Look here. Uh, this is a discerning heart. A heart that hears God. Because remember, faith comes by what? But it doesn't end in the ear. It goes to your heart. So most of the time, you, you need to have a heart. You check yourself what you are hearing. And then now, so that you must not pass judgment or you find yourself in the judgment of the people who are passing that judgment. So, you need this heart that can distinguish 
the right and the wrong. You know, when Jesus listened to Peter, who says, you are Christ. You are Christ, the son of the living God. Jesus said, it's not flesh and blood that has revealed that to you. But it's God who said that to you. But the same Peter who said to Jesus, don't go to Jerusalem. Jesus said, Peter, there is Satan in you. Get behind me, Satan. So you must be able to know if this is Satan or God. If not, you can be, like I said, wrongly wired. You will believe the force. Think about in the last day, you find that what you have been told is not true. And already you have taken decisions. Think about the last day, you, when you reach there before God, you find that, ah, I was a singer in the church. I didn't know that we were in Satanism. Though people told you, you could not believe that because you could not discern. So the spirit of discerning has entered your heart today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The last prayer you can pray. Pray this prayer. Ask God. Just ask God that God will help you to help others. He will give you grace to restore others' prayer. 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 Pray that prayer. Carry on, Andres. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Carry on. Pray that prayer. Father, if I see someone falling, overtaken, I will restore that one. I will restore that one. In Jesus' name. 